In chapter 1 of this brief book, Aristotle compares the science of nature, mathematics and theology. The science of nature or natural science is that which studies natural organisms and processes. All rational activity or all activity using the intellect can be divided into the practical, the productive and the theoretical. For example, physical education, manufacturing processes and learning grammar respectively. The science of nature investigates those things that have within themselves a principle of change that is something within them that determines their growth locomotion and reproduction the science of nature is a theoretical science as it is not directly aimed at practice or production but rather aims for theoretical understanding mathematics is also a theoretical science though its objects unlike those of the science of nature are unchanging that is Mathematical objects such as numbers and theorems are not subject to change. The principles of causation are, like those of mathematics, also unchanging and therefore eternally true or simply eternal. The study of these deeper causal principles is not natural science or mathematics but theology. Here the reader is introduced to the idea that first philosophy, metaphysics, is ultimately the same as theology. The reason for this is, as the reader shall see in book 12 of the metaphysics called Lambda, that God itself is a causal principle, according to Aristotle. Chapter 2 begins the analysis of being or existence. There are the following varieties of being. Accidental being, the true, the categories, and the potential and the actual. Aristotle has an earlier text named the categories, but in the metaphysics, his notion of being extends further than what he previously wrote there. In the metaphysics, he lists the categories as substance, quality, quantity, place, and time, etc. Thus, all of these categories are varieties of being. Chapter 2 examines accidental being as well. Accidental being is that which exists not of necessity, such as mathematical truths, and not for the most part, that is, neither that which exists always, nor that which exists most frequently. The whiteness of a man, Aristotle says, is accidental being because men are not always or for the most part white. However, he adds, it is not an accident that he is an animal. That a man is an animal is a necessary part of his being. That a man is white is an accidental part of his being. Hence, there is no science of accidental being. If someone studies humankind, for instance, the object of study encompasses humankind's essential rather than accidental essence.